Hey guys, Nate here, and today we're gonna talk about VoIP numbers. Let's get right to it. For those who are just entering the VoIP world, it may seem weird that a communication system centered around the internet would still use a numeric phone number as landlines do. However, there are a few key differences to note between landline numbers and VoIP numbers. First of all, the traditional numbers you'd get for a landline phone company are assigned to a fixed device, telephone line, and fixed location. After the phone company assigns these metrics, you can't just edit a field to change them. This limits call routing to devices within the physical location of your office. In contrast, virtual phone numbers like the one you see in VoIP systems are not tied to a specific line or device or location. Rather, they're assigned to a specific department, location, branch, or even user. This means they can forward calls to multiple phone numbers, IP addresses, and devices. Let's look at a practical example. Let's say you assign Steve, your best sales representative, to Joe, your biggest client. Before VoIP, you would have to give Steve's home, office, and mobile numbers to Joe. With a VoIP number, you can give Joe a single number and he'll be able to reach Steve no matter where he is, on the device of Steve's choice. This is just one example of how the VoIP revolution has raised the standard of convenience on both ends of business transactions. Another benefit is the fact that virtual numbers make it easier for callers to reach your agents. Whether on the customer service or sales team, customer satisfaction can really skyrocket once you've implemented the VoIP system. Furthermore, employees will be better equipped to generate value in your company if they don't have to wait at their desks for important calls. Last but certainly not least, VoIP numbers bring a higher level of privacy due to the security protocols that are in place. To learn more about VoIP security, be sure to check out our video on VoIP security here. Back to VoIP numbers, companies can choose between three variants when setting up their VoIP system. Local, toll-free, and vanity. Companies with locations spread across multiple cities will be able to cut down on distance calling costs by setting up local numbers. Toll-free numbers, also known as 1-800 numbers, protect callers from long distance charges and bill your company instead. Don't worry though, calls placed over the internet are much cheaper than legacy international fees, making it well worth the credibility you gain by having a 1-800 number. Finally, vanity numbers like 1-800-Flowers make it easier for companies to differentiate themselves and are also more memorable to customers. It's worth noting that you don't even need to switch to virtual phones if you're looking to get a VoIP number. Providers like RingCentral, Grasshopper, 8x8, and more offer paid VoIP numbers. You'll be able to add more numbers as your business scales up while only paying an additional monthly fee per user. That's all for now, but don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below if you enjoyed this video so you can stay up to date on our journey to simplify the VoIP world. And share this video on social media too, so your friends can get up to speed on all the wonders that VoIP numbers have to offer. Till next time, this is Nate from Get VoIP.